and gentlemen, welcome to Pro Wrestling Powerhouse TV, the return yes. edition of PWP TV. I'm Jersey Strong Jay Aletto, and I'm here with the one and only TLD. That's TLD, right. we're back here at Pro Wrestling Syndicate. It's so good to be back, man. It's great to be back, and they are back here in Rawway. It's their return to Rawway right here in Rawway, Are you Rawway, sure we're not Raw? Because I got like a little Raw thing going on here. I like it. They have upgraded. That is for sure. PWS has upgraded. I like and it. And the roster is upgraded, too, because tonight, Jake the Snake Roberts is here Ooh. live in Rawway. Not only that, but Buff Bagwell, the one and only Buff the Stuff, will take on Colt Cabana. Will, what match are you looking forward to most tonight? I gotta be honest, I have never seen Buff Bagwell in person. Tonight is the night where I would love to see that against Colt Cabana. That's the one for me that I really want to see. But the big match tonight is for the PWS Heavyweight Championship, and that's Kevin Matthews going against his former best friend, Alex Reynolds, what's your prediction yes. for that match? I still see Kevin Matthews winning the title. He's on fire right now. Always, I'm always down with reality check. Check marks up, baby. That's right. But we're going to be doing some interviews. We're going to be having a good time. Some of our best friends in the wrestling business are here live tonight in Broadway. So enjoy the return edition of Pro Wrestling Powerhouse TV. That I edit. in PWS, Dave Destruction, although I'm a Giants fan, you're a Cowboys fan, it's all right. There's still a lot to cheer about. It's early in the football season, but you're back here in Rawway. The return to Rawway, man. What are we expecting from Dave Destruction tonight? Just that. Destruction. All night. I got Gibbs finally one-on-one -on -one after he decided to pull what he pulled last month. And, uh, you know, I had a month to mentally prepare for this and uh, should take care of business. Yeah, you had a great run as a tag team, though. I mean, it was short-lived. Is there any potential of getting back into the tag team scene in the future, or is it all about destruction at this point? I tell you what, I, I personally like doing you know tag teams. It was fun for me. I, I liked it, you know, the camaraderie and being a part of Reality Check and all that stuff. It was it was really cool. But uh, you know, maybe it's time for me to start you know thinking about myself a little bit, not being selfish. But I I've, I carried Damien for all those months, so now it's time to you know release him, beat him tonight, and go on my way. You know, go my solo route. Absolutely. Now. You've been a student at the Pro Wrestling Syndicate School for, what, about a year, maybe a little over a year? A year and a half now. year and a half. year and a half. How much have you grown as a professional wrestler? As personally, physically, a lot. You, I, we learn new stuff every night. There's not a one class that we go to where it's like, oh, we already learned this. You know, it's always new, always fresh. Uh, you know, we, we just keep learning more and more and more. So me personally, I got a lot more work to do. You know, I'm, I'm, they put me on the main roster and a couple of other guys on the main roster, not just because we're graduates and we don't have to go to class anymore. I want to learn more, you know, so we're all going to keep learning. And the school has progressed from starting with 12 to now there's like 35 guys coming every Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know. So it's actually pretty uh, it's intense. What's, what's the scary part is some of these guys coming in a week, two weeks in, they're surpassing me by a thousand. So this natural talent is just, they're flocking our way, which is perfect. So. What a great time we're having here in Pro Wrestling Syndicate. Wait a second, it's our old buddy Seth. Seth is here, former host of Oh You Didn't Know Radio, right here on the Pro Wrestling Powerhouse Radio Network. Seth, back in New Jersey, back in Rawway, back at Pro Wrestling Syndicate. How you doing tonight, man? I'm doing well, doing well. Looking forward to tonight's card. You know, uh, former tag team partners colliding, former friends colliding, Buff Bagwell's here. It's gonna be a good show. Now, you're my good buddy. We go back about a year or so. Bleacher Report, that's one thing that we've always kind of been, you know, you were there, I was there, you kind of liked it, I kind of hated it. I got kicked off, you got kicked off. Give us your candid, candid comments on Bleacher Report. Well, you know, I'm not big into bad-mouthing anyone. But what I, what I will say is that it's not all that it- You just got all bombed. Oh, oh sh uh, <laughs> All I will say is it's not all that it's cut out to be. You know, you think it's really great to get all this exposure, but 
comes with a price. Okay, well, bottom line, I'll talk the shit for him. Bleacher Report sucks. All right, Seth here with PWP TV. I'm here with Adam O'Reiner, the Big O. Big O, what can we expect from you tonight? Uh, I mean, you're going to get what you always get out of me. You're going to get fire. You're going to get intensity. You're going to get aggressiveness. And you're also going to get the ladies, man, baby. All right, very good. Now, coming off your experience with Gut Check, looking back at it, right. what, are your, what are your thoughts on the experience? As what, I'm sure it was a very positive experience. I mean, anybody in my position uh, would have been just grateful to be to be a TNA gut check. Uh, it was a great experience for me. I got to travel a little bit. I met some great TNA superstars. Uh, I had some conversations with guys like Sting and Hulk Hogan. Um, Kurt Angle gave me a lot of uh, inside, I guess, information that that's not just taught to you in a training school. Overall, the experience was great. It, it kind of sucks that I didn't get offered the contract, but when I do get that contract, I know it'll be worth all that much more. Now you just mentioned Kurt Angle gave you, um, you know, some insider information. Right. Would you say that his advice was what stuck out the most, or what advice from anyone there do you think will stay with you for the long term? Um, well, you know, everywhere I go and uh, I meet all these current and former wrestling superstars, mentors, trainers, uh, even guys like you that run great uh, radio shows. I take bits and pieces of what everybody's uh, trying to show me and what they're trying to teach me, and I kind of mold all that together into one big overall theme, and that's pretty much persistence and patience. I'm here with Lance Anawahi, third generation professional wrestler of the famous Anawahi family. Lance, man, you are just telling me a little bit off camera. Give the fans a little bit about your family tree. Who are you in the Anawahi family? Well, I'm the, like you said, I'm the third generation I'm the grandson of WWE Hall of Famer Alpha of the Wild Samoan and son of Head Shrinker Samu. And also a cousin of The Rock, Roman Reigns, The Usos, Umaga, the list goes on. Now, you're, you're a pretty young guy. How old are you, man? 21. 21, so you're kind of just getting your feet wet in wrestling. Uh, where'd you train to be a wrestler? With your, your family? Uh, yeah, I trained with my family, and I got into it about basically when I was born, three days old. Three days right out the hospital, my dad brings me in the ring, drops a leg on me, and ever since that day, I've been in the ring. But I started taking it serious uh, about three years ago now. That's amazing. Now, you've been here at Pro Wrestling Syndicate the last year or so, I'd say, right? You've yeah. been here for a while. You've been working the shows. How is Pro Wrestling Syndicate? How do you like working here? I love working for him, man. The fans are great. The environment's great. The locker room is probably one of the best locker rooms I've ever been in, and I just enjoy working here. Now, the sky's the limit for your career, obviously. You're just still a new buck in the business. Yeah. What are your dreams and aspirations as a professional wrestler? Well, as a wrestler, everyone's dream is make it as far high as possible. That's the WWE. And hopefully one day that day comes.
AWS Championship match tonight between Kevin Matthews, the reigning defending champion, and Alex Reynolds. I got it right here, the Jersey Punk. He is famous for being a pro wrestling syndicate and a wrestling fan in general. Who you got in tonight's big match? I really, really do not know. I mean, both these wrestlers are cool wrestlers. They're very cool, you know what I mean? I mean, you know, you got Kevin Matthews. You have a guy who's wrestled for a lot of promotions. Then you have Alex Reynolds, who wrestles for promotions like CZW, Ring of Honor, and all item promotions. I don't really know who I want to win this match. I have more of my votes go towards Alex Reynolds. But I mean, I really, but if Kevin Matthews retains, hell, I have the utmost respect for Kevin Matthews if he retains this match. And I'm so, so excited. You know, I'm more excited than a useless bimbo going in the kitchen making me a sandwich. I am so excited. I am, I am so excited, you know. And I, I just really, I mean, I'm so excited. And you know, I'm, more ex I'm also excited for Dave versus Alex. I mean, uh, Damien, I'm, I'm so excited. I, I love, it's gonna be awesome, so excited! It's gonna be awesome! All right, real quick, change gears a little bit. What are your feelings on Jake the Snake Roberts? I am so excited that he's here. Um, I'm, he looks really good, he's lost weight. Thanks to Diamond Dallas Page, I'm so happy that he lost weight. He's been through so much in the past. He's had a drug problem, but I'm glad he overcome it. I'm personally against drugs and never think they should be used at all whatsoever, but, you know, um, like, um, you know, Lindsay Lohan, the useless bimbo who did drugs. She's not, you know, she's a useless bimbo now, you know? She's only good, she only plays the kitchen. But him, it's not the kitchen, it's the ring. You know what I mean? He belongs in, you know, to be the commissioner tonight, you know? He deserves one last run to enjoy, you know, whatever he does, you know what I mean? He's a legend and, you know, he's a good person, you know what I mean? He's cool, you know? Cool. Damian Gibbs, you think you're so cool? You're not cool. Damien Gibbs, you're going down tonight. Sorry, it just came out of nowhere. But he he got, he's really cool. He deserves to be manager tonight. You know, um, yeah, the commissioner. And I honestly think, you know, um, he's not like Demi Lovato because Demi Lovato's useless bimbo. You know, I mean, Lindsay Lohan, both of them. You know, women are useless, you know what I mean? But him, you know, he's not. You know, he's cool, you know what I mean? Yeah, I got you. Well, thanks so much for being on ProRes Powerhouse TV. All right, Seth back here with PWP TV. I'm here with a longtime PWS fan here with Mike. Mike, what are you most excited about for tonight? Uh, two things, actually. The gimmick battle royal, because uh, every game that they've kind of, like, taken from, like, Nintendo, from, like, Starman to Punch-Out, has been really awesome. So I want to see if there's any new characters. And then the title match. I mean... Kevin Matthews, is, that's that the whole reality check thing's been building for what two or three months. Like we've been waiting for this match. I just want to see who's gonna win the title, which side reality check takes. Like, are are they gonna, you know, they're gonna leave Kevin? Who knows? Like they might turn on Kevin. Like, what's gonna happen? Like this, I want to see this match. All right, and one more question: What do you think is gonna be the match of the night? I'm gonna say the Cole Cabana match. Because Colton Buff is going to be insane. They're both extremely talented. They are both should be signed somewhere on national television. And they're facing off here for us. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I am here with Buff Bagwell. This is a moment for me, Buff. I'm happy to be here. I mean, you don't come to Jersey too often. No, uh, I don't. You know, so what brings you up here? PWS brought you out. They brought me up. You know, Jersey was not a, uh, you know, not a big town for WCW guys. We were more southeast, south, you know, southeast area, and, and Jersey was just more, um, you know, more WWF. You know, but uh, I'm glad they brought me up, and I got a lot of fans up here, and. I love it up here, so uh, t I'm, I'm having a good time. Yeah, it's been great. Uh, PWS is known to bring a lot of WCW guys that were just not around here. But what have you been up to lately? Dude, uh, I had a real bad car wreck a year ago, April. So really, man, I had to recoup from that. But I got back, you know, and i uh, been back 100% about four months. Uh -huh. So it, it took me a year, man, on paper. 
Yeah. On paper. <laughs> Up here, it took me two, bro. It was that bad. I mean, I was in a coma and jaw and, and, and plates and nose and broke my neck again. So it was a big deal, dude. But uh, I got back, and uh, I'm back 100% now. Well, it's good to see you here. It's good to see you, too. Yeah, yeah. But we got to ask, I got to ask you a personal question. What was your favorite top hat that you have? Uh, my favorite one was my red one that I've got now because of what they, you can't, you can't find a red top hat. You got to, you got to, you not believe what they got to do to fix that. All top hats either come white or black. They got to cure it and do all kinds of stuff to it for that to be red. So it's one of my favorites because the guys that work so hard on it. So that's my favorite one, man, the red yeah. one. Uh, if you're the original yeah. black, yeah, you know, right, oh, right. The red one's got, got some <laughs> sentimental value. Now I have to ask, if all the NWO moments that you've had or even WCW moments, what one would stand out to you? Just, I think, man, just all the NWO stuff is hard to beat, but all of me and Steiner stuff was real, real tough, man. It was pretty hard to beat that. Me and Steiner, they, they, they didn't give us no leash. They let me and Steiner do whatever we wanted. So, we just pretty much our creative control. We had a blast with it, you know. That's awesome. Now, I got to ask, you're fighting Colt Cabana tonight. Yeah. Uh, what, you have a message for Colt Cabana tonight right here in the camera? Dude, I just let him know that I'm still buff and I'm still the stuff. And the girls still can't get enough. So look out, brother, because I'm going to show you why they call me buff and why I'm still the Any stuff. chance we get a buff bagwell pose? We got to get a pose. Hey. <laughs> Back here, PWS return to Rawway. I'm here with what seems to be a Macho Man Randy Savage fan. He is Caesar. Caesar, what are you looking forward to tonight? Looking forward to King Kong Bundy. I'm looking forward to the championship match between uh, Alex Reynolds and uh, Kevin Matthews and Bonesaw. Bonesaw, I believe he's still undefeated. Undefeated, and I think he has the Money in the Bank version of the Pro Wrestling Syndicate Federation. Whatever. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He'll cash in tonight. You never know. Caesar. Uh, you seem to know a lot of your PWS uh, facts here. How long have you been coming to PWS? Uh, a little more than a year. I uh, found out about it last year. I, I really enjoy it. Best independent promotion that I've been to in years. And now, uh, what do you think is going to be the match of the night here tonight? Uh, the championship match, because Bonesaw is going to cash in. That would be quite the, quite the turn. Well, thank you so much, Caesar. Thank you very much. Enjoy your night. Take care, guys.
considering you're the commissioner and considering that you've been standing on my beach a little bit too long. Unless you want to take your old ass swimming, I suggest you do the right thing and raise my hand and show me the respect I deserve. Raise it now. Raise it right now. I want you to raise my hand. That's what I said. Raise it, Jake. Give it to me. Raise it. You want me to raise your hand in victory, you know? How about, how about if I raise my hand? <laughs> raise your hand? Why would you raise your hand? Gentlemen, this is a great moment for me. I'm here with one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, Justin Credible. How's it going tonight, man? What's going on, man? How are you? Doing great. Listen, you're back here in Rawway, New Jersey at Pro Wrestling Syndicate. When are you getting back in the ring here in PWS? Anytime in the future? Uh, I'm looking to get back very, very soon. Uh, November 16th. Uh, I was supposed to come back October 26th, but uh, there was a mistake in booking. So November 16th. I will be making my return to PWS. We cannot wait to see that. And also, I'm a big fan of your Wrestling 101, Pro Wrestling 101 on YouTube. It's great. It's a great look and insight into professional wrestling and the little intricacies that people don't really think about that much. Tell us a little bit about how that came about and what the future holds for it. Well, it was just something I decided to do to, uh, you know, really help these younger guys because in, in my day when I first started, I got to, my first couple matches were against legends like uh, Mr. Perfect, Kurt Henning. I mean, uh, Scott Hall, Shawn Michaels, and uh, IRS, Mike Rotundo. So these young kids got nobody to learn from. So what I want to do is pass that knowledge on to them, uh, the young indie wrestler. That's amazing. And uh, you're on the DDP Yoga kick, all right? Because I've read about it on Twitter, on Facebook. How's DDP Yoga working for you? It's absolutely amazing. I'm going on uh, eight months on DDP Yoga, and it has changed my body. I'm in the best shape of my life, believe it or not. It's not just hype, and uh, it really does work. It's amazing. Any words for the fans out there? They can find you on Twitter, Facebook, Pro Wrestling 101. Any final words? Uh, the best way to go is thejustincredible.com. It connects you to all of the stuff that I'm doing. Follow me on Twitter, at PJ Polacco. And uh, my new one on Facebook, uh, facebook.com backslash Pro Wrestling 101 Training Camp. It's for my new wrestling school that we're opening uh, February 2014, so look out for that. And that's not just the coolest. That's not just the best. That, my friends, is just incredible. Return to Rawway PWS. I'm here with a fan, Christian. How long you been coming to PWS? Uh, this is my first show. Whoa, a first timer right here. How did you find out about the show? Uh, I just find it through all the dirt sheets and stuff. Interesting answer. What are you looking forward to most here tonight? Uh, I just came and saw Jake the Snake, Cole Cabana. <laughs> I start. <laughs> when did you buy the shirt? A uh, year and a half ago, I think. Okay. So you've been following Colt for a while. Oh, I love the Second City Saints. And how long have you been a wrestling fan? Uh, ever since I was eight. Eight, and how old are you now? Thirteen. All right. So first timer here. Well, enjoy the show. Hope you have a great time.
Ladies and gentlemen, Pro Wrestling Syndicate has come to a conclusion. We have a brand new PWS World Heavyweight Champion. His name is Bonesaw, and I'm here with my good friends, Frank Manzo, Joe Omega, WrestleReaction.net are in the house. Frank, first of all, what are your thoughts of Pro Wrestling Syndicate tonight? Well, as you can see, the crowd is still hot. They're chanting for Bonesaw. We just saw an excellent finish to the night. Alex Reynolds became the champion, but then quickly overturned. Bonesaw is now the champ. The crowd is going wild. Overall, a very exciting card, and I think you'd agree with me, the six-way match stood out tonight. It really did stand out, but there was some news out of the six-way match. We do have a new suicidal six-way champion, but Starman was injured in that match, and uh, you pretty much saw it firsthand, Joe Omega. Um, give us some update on Starman, what took place tonight. Well, it looks like Starman had a very, very serious concussion as a result of a flying dropkick running all the way down the aisle onto the, onto the floor. That is David Adams right now of Pro Wrestling Syndicate, if you could still hear me right now. Pro Wrestling Syndicate right now always delivers, I must say. I haven't been here in months, but tonight, it's like I never left, man. Pro Wrestling Syndicate, the number one indie federation on the planet right now. It's got to be. Yeah, they, they always do things the right way. It's always fun. It's always a good time. We had a great time here tonight, and uh, we'd just like to thank Pro Wrestling Syndicate, Eric Pleska, Pat Buck. You guys are great. Thank you so much. All the wrestlers that we interviewed tonight, Just Incredible, Buff Bagwell, and so many more. Thank you very much for TLD, for Jay, Frank and Joe, PWP TV signing off. Oh, yeah, for Seth, too. I don't know where he went. Signing off tonight, PWP TV. Thank you so much for joining us. <laughs>